Hi, I'm Miriam with Arizona Project WIT, and I'm so excited to talk to you about watersheds. You might think, what is a watershed? Well, if we break up the word, you know what water is, right? What about the word shed? What does a tool shed do? A tool shed stores tools. Can you think of another definition for the word shed? What about your dog? My dog, Buttercup, sheds in the summer when it's hot. That means its extra fur falls off. So, a watershed has to do with storing water and water running off the land. I have a special definition for you. If you can stand up, follow my lead, and repeat after me. A watershed is a land area that drains to the low point. One more time. A watershed is a land area that drains to the low point. Good job. Now you lead. Excellent. Let's explore the parts that makes up a watershed and its boundaries. Now that you know what a watershed is, can you tell me what makes up most of the watershed? Think about the definition we just learned. A watershed is made up mostly of land, but it's also the water that runs off the land. To where? The low points. If water is draining down to the low point, what do you think will be the edge or the boundary of the watershed? That's right, the higher areas. If you look outside, what are the highest points that you can see? Some of you might be able to see mountains in the distance. They probably form one boundary of a watershed that you live in. And what do you think are the low points of a watershed? Where does water drain to you? Water drains to the low points such as washes, streams, rivers, or lakes. So, do you think you live in a watershed? Think about where you live, your neighborhood. What happens when it rains? No matter how small or big the land area is, or how little water it has, if the water drains from the land area to the low point, then it is a watershed. Look at this map. Where are you on this map? What number is that? If we look at the map key, can you find the name of your watershed? What do you think the blue and green lines represent? In this case, the blue lines represent rivers and the green lines represent mountain areas or high points of land. What do you think the color in between represents? It's the land area. So everything within the color is within the boundaries of the watershed, including you, plants, 
animals, houses, and streets. So, let's review what you just learned. You learned that a watershed is a land area that drains to the low points. You also learned that the boundary or edge of a watershed are the higher areas like mountains. You also learn that the low points could be washes, streams, rivers, or lakes. And lastly, you learn that you, the plants, the animals, the houses, the streets, and everything within the boundary of a watershed, it's all part of the watershed. In the next video, we will explore in the parts of the watershed using a model. Thank you for watching and see you next time.